Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome to Repair and Replace. If your refrigerator works, the compressor runs, but the system isn't cooling properly, then it could be an issue with the evaporator fan. In this episode, first we'll learn how it all works. Then we'll access and test the motor with a multimeter. Finally, we'll see how to install a new evaporator fan. This applies to most top freezer, bottom freezer, and side-by-side -side refrigerators. All refrigerators work in the same basic way. When cooling is needed, the cold control sends power to the cooling circuit. The compressor pushes the refrigerant through the system. In the freezer, heat is extracted by the evaporator coils and is released through the condenser coils behind the refrigerator. This process continues until the set temperature is reached. The evaporator fan circulates air throughout the refrigerator. If the fan stops working, then heat will not transfer effectively. This can prevent the refrigerator from cooling properly. A faulty evaporator fan can also prevent the refrigerator from shutting off. In this case, the compressor will continue to run to try to keep the system cool. In some cases, a buildup of ice can also act as an insulator and can prevent the fan from spinning. This is a sign that the defrost cycle is not working. You can learn how to troubleshoot this in the video linked below. To begin, you might need a screwdriver or nut driver and a multimeter. Keep in mind there is some variation between models and not all refrigerators will have the same parts. You can enter your model number on the Amory Supply website to see a parts breakdown. This can be helpful to show you which parts are in your refrigerator and where they are located. First, slide the refrigerator out from the wall. When there is enough room, unplug the cord to disconnect the power. In this case, you can work on the refrigerator in place with it still against the wall. Since the evaporator fins are sharp, it's best to wear cut-resistant gloves. To access the evaporator coils, you'll have to remove the screws to the freezer cover panel. Lift up the mounting tabs and remove the panel. If the fan is mounted to the panel, you might need to disconnect the wire harness. In a side-by-side -side fridge, the fan will likely be mounted above the evaporator coils. To isolate the fan, disconnect the wires and remove it. If your model has a bottom freezer, then you'll have to remove the door to access the freezer components. You can see how to do this in the video linked below. First, check if the fan blades spin freely. If it feels restricted or if there's any visible damage, then replace the fan. If you have a C-frame or round motor, then you can still test for continuity. Set your multimeter to the ohms or resistance setting. Now touch the probes to each terminal. Depending on the motor, there should be a resistance reading of around 20 to 4,000 ohms. Now if there's no resistance and no continuity, then the motor is faulty and should be replaced. Some motors can't be tested this way. If the resistance is more than 1 million ohms, then the motor likely has sealed internal components. 
This means you won't be able to test the resistance of the motor windings. If you're not sure if it's faulty, then it's still best to replace it. To install the new motor, you'll likely have to remove the fan blades first. In some models, you'll have to remove the mounting brackets by releasing several tabs. Now remove the old motor from the mount. In other cases, you'll have to remove several screws. Align the new motor and secure the mounting bracket. If needed, tighten the mounting screws. Now replace the fan blades. Align the motor assembly back into the freezer. Now reconnect the wires. Next, replace the freezer cover. If needed, reconnect the wire harness. Now tighten the mounting screws. Plug in the cord to reconnect the power. Now slide it back into place. Make sure to leave a couple of inches of space between the refrigerator and the wall. This will allow for proper airflow. Now test the refrigerator to see if it's working properly. If you like this and want to see more tutorials and informational videos, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit an Amory location to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.